Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to examine if I should upgrade my current Apple M1 Mac Mini to the recently announced M4 Mac Mini computer. For the last four years, my Mac Mini M1 has been my reliable workhorse, handling everything from video editing to photo processing. But Apple recently introduced the new Mac Mini M4, raising the question, is it time to upgrade? All right, now let's start with a quick recap. Released in 2020, the Mac Mini M1 features an 8-core CPU, 8-core GPU, and offers 8GB or 16GB of RAM. Mine comes with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, and it's been impressively powerful for heavy tasks like video editing. Plus, it's quiet and has plenty of ports that I can use. Now, in 2023, Apple introduced the M2 Mac Mini, which kept the 8-core CPU but upgraded to a 10-core GPU and added a 24GB RAM option. But for me, the upgrade from M1 to M2 didn't feel substantial enough to switch. Alright, now what's new with the M4 Mac Mini? With the M4 Mac Mini, Apple introduces major announcements. The base model now starts with 16GB RAM, double that of the M1 and the M2, expandable to 32GB with the M4 Pro Mac Mini option. It also boosts a 12-core CPU and 14-core GPU, offering up to 1.8 times faster CPU and 2.2 times faster GPU performance than the M1 according to Apple. All right, now, why does memory really matter? Well, memory makes a huge difference in day-to-day -day performance. My M1 handles CPU-intensive tasks like Final Cut Pro well, but struggles with memory-heavy apps like Google Chrome Browser, which eats up to 100 MBs of memory a tab. Add in multitasking apps like Spotify, which I occasionally use for music while working, Audacity, which I use for audio editing, VLC, which I use for media playback and so forth, and performance starts to dip. That is why the M4's best 16GB is so appealing because it's designed to handle multiple memory intensive applications seamlessly. All right, now let's talk about Apple Intelligence and AI enhancements. The M4's Memory Boost also supports Apple's new onboard AI engine, which they like to call Apple Intelligence, which powers features like advanced text editing, proofreading, and the redesigned Siri. These AI enhancements mean the M4 isn't just faster, it's also smarter and more versatile for productivity. All right, now let's talk about design and space efficiency. One reason I'm drawn to the M4 is its size. Well, it's now just 5 by 5 inches, which is less than half the footprint of the previous models. With a small workspace like mine, this is a real tangible benefit, freeing up valuable disk space that I can use for other things. All right now, let's talk about connectivity and ports. Connectivity upgrades include Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 and support for up to three displays up from two. Now the M4 drops USB-A ports for additional USB-C ports, which means I'll need an adapter for my USB-A devices like my Fifine recording mic. I didn't really like this removal of the USB airports because there are a number of peripheral devices out there that still use the standard USB airports, you know, the big rectangular ports. We really still need them. I still need them. And I think Apple should have left at least one port for that. All right, now the front facing USB C ports and a headphone jack are a convenient touch though the power button's relocation to the bottom may take getting used to. 
actually this is quite controversial as some people don't like the fact that the power button has been moved to the bottom of the device as opposed to the back all right so if you routinely power on and off your mac mini like i do i think this is quite inconvenient but if your mac mini is always on then you know having it at the bottom of the device may not be a big problem all right now let's talk about price and value starting at 599 for the m4 and 1399 for the m4 pro the new mac mini offers impressive value i bought my m1 for 699 but for a hundred dollars less the m4 delivers double the base ram and much more processing power so i think 599 is a really good sweet spot right there because i mean for a hundred dollars less while you're getting twice the memory i think that is a sweet deal all right so will i upgrade i think i will most likely consider this upgrade so what about you do you think that the m4 is worth your investment is it worth your buck let me know in the comments below Otherwise, thanks for watching this video and click the like button and ring the bell icon so you get notified of future videos. Subscribe to the channel if you look forward to more tech videos in the future. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.